Hey there, I'm Alex and welcome to my channel Namiodio. I'm very excited today because in this video I'm going to show you one of my very first two libraries. This one is called the Hammer and Felt. Let's dive in. So as you can hear, this is a piano library. It consists of three instruments to play with. Here I'm on a hammer, which is basically the upright piano in its simplest form. Now let's play a bit more so I can show you the interface and how it works. As you can see, the interface is fairly simple. I wanted it to be as easy as possible so anyone can tweak the sounds to their likings and forget about the interface. The goal here is just to play. And even though it only has 12 parameters to play with, I hope you will agree that the sound is quite versatile. So to begin with, you have those four faders, which is basically the mixer. The first one is mic and it controls the instruments level. Next to it, you have two reverb sends, amp and room. M is the shortest one and room is a bit longer. So let's listen to M first. And now room only. And finally, you have the noise level, which controls both the pedal noises and the release triggers volume. So this is the pedal noise. And here are the release triggers. So with these four faders, you can already get quite a few sounds. 
and by using them with low and high levels you can really create quickly a piano sound you like and that sits well in your mixes. Next you have effects, and the first one is tape. So first you have to enable it here, and then you can control the amount using the graphic. Let's hear it a bit. And as you can hear, it responds quite well with the dynamics you're playing with. It can be very subtle or very dramatic. Then there is wobble, which is a pitch modulation. So let's turn off tape first and listen to wobble. And finally, you have delay and reverb sense. And both of these also have a timing control just here. Now let's listen to the space reverb first and put a short decay time. And this is how it sounds. And now let's make a very long reverb.
Now let's listen to the delay. So this was Hammer, now let's load the second instrument, which is Felt. This is the same piano but recorded with the Celeste pedal engaged. And it puts a felt layer between the strings and the hammers, resulting in a more fragile and intimate sound. Since it has the same interface, I won't show it to you again, but let's listen to some patches. And last but not least, you have the texture instrument. This consists of 24 sound sources to choose from, and they are arranged in three families. The first one is synth and pads, and these are samples of the previous recordings of Hammer or Felt, but mangled with some of my machines here in my studio. Let me show you some of them.
Next, you have loops and rhythms, and this is a little bit like synth and pads, but the samples were not only mangled, but also sequenced with my machines, giving them a more rhythmical feeling. Let me show you. And finally, you have alternative playings, and these are new recordings of the piano, but played in less usual ways. Let me show you. Thank you. 
So any of those 24 sounds can be selected and treated using the interface, which is slightly different from Hammer or Felt. Let's create a patch from scratch so I can show you how it works. So to start with, I'm gonna select a sound I like. So let's listen to some of them. Let's select the second sound. Now I'm going to add a little bit of tape, so let's put maybe halfway. Yeah, I like it. Now let's add some reverb. Maybe put a longer tail. Now I'm gonna filter the sounds and I have the choice between high pass, bend pass or low pass. So let's try high pass. Now bend pass. And finally, low pass. So because I, I'd like a deep sound, I think I'm gonna stick on the low pass and put it somewhere around here. Now let's raise the attack right over here and put a little bit more release. Now, like Hammer or Felt interface, you have a low and high level, so I think there's a, a little bit too low in this sound. And finally, I'm gonna add some delay right over here, and I'm gonna put it at eighth note. And finally, what I like to do is actually to add another track of either Hammer or Felt. I think Felt is gonna work nicely with this sound. So let's try. So now this is Felt and Texture at the same time. So if you'd like to hear more sounds demos and are fed up of me talking, you can go on the description. I've put the link of two videos that goes through some of the patches. So this was Hammer and Felt. I hope you will like this instrument as much as I enjoyed developing it. Thank you for watching the video and see you next time. Bye.